towns in various states, New York, California, obviously, and there are calls to shut the entire country down. Steve Bannon, Bill Ackman say give people an end date, shut everything down across the country, not specific states, so that we understand when the end date is and we understand when we can get back and we can get this virus th passing through with everybody shut down. Are you considering a full shutdown, Secretary? Maria, what I would say is nothing against the financial people and, and, and me. We should leave the medical suggestions to the medical professionals. But we it's have not great a medical, medical suggestion. It's also an economic suggestion. It's not just a medical suggestion. This is an economic suggestion as well. well. We've got businesses that you've been on the phone with this weekend who say, I'm out of cash. I need cash now. I need to shut down, reassess. I need this now. And you've got politicians dealing with this in the Senate who want to throw things in this bill that have nothing to do with coronavirus. Well, Maria, let me let me be clear for businesses that have to shut down. This bill gives them much, much needed support. So, again, vast amounts of money for small businesses. Uh, we have the IRS fully geared up. As soon as this is approved, we expect to be able to get direct deposits to hardworking taxpayers for bridge payments. It's going to be uh, over $3,000 for a family of four. That's much needed liquidity that hardworking Americans have. Uh, again, we will have programs that support our financial markets so that businesses can continue to borrow and homeowners can continue to get mortgages. And the president will decide. Uh, I, I don't think there's any, I've seen a bunch of fake news over the last couple of days uh, about, you know, a complete shutdown of the economy. The president has not made that decision. If there are medical professionals, the president will listen to it. But uh, again, I think the president is hopeful that the policies and procedures that have been put in place will kill this virus quickly. Uh, on, a, on a global uh, measure, G20 finance ministers holding a teleconference to discuss this today. What do you want to hear from your counterparts across the world, Secretary, in terms of a coordinated action on a fiscal standpoint? Maria, I started early this morning at 7 o'clock on the video call. Uh, I got off that video call just now so that I could be on the phone with you. I think the good news is there's a lot of understanding on the G20 with both central bankers and finance ministers that we are all prepared to take actions to support our economies and coordinate it on a, on a global basis as needed. So whether it's at the G20, the G7, we're working closely with the IMF and the World Bank. Uh, this is a team effort to kill this virus and provide economic relief. What, what metrics do you have that would indicate that this 15-day period is actually working? Because, Secretary, we're hearing that, look, you want to, you know, lock down, settle in place in California, in New York, a couple of other places, and you're looking at markets trade down in the face of this. Now, we just saw a reversal because of the Fed action this morning, but what metrics are you looking at to indicate whether or not this strategy is actually working? Maria, my focus is completely on making sure that American business and American workers have the necessary liquidity to go through this shutdown. So I'm going to leave it to the president and the medical professionals to decide how long this will be. But I would emphasize all small businesses, we will have an immediate mechanism. That's close to 50 percent of the U.S. economy for, for workers. We are encouraging small businesses Make sure you hire people back. If you haven't let people go, don't let people go, because we are providing you necessary liquidity, and we're going to get that money out fast. So the president wants to protect small businesses and the workers, and we are working around the clock today to make sure that the Senate passes this today. This is the most important thing we can do. So will you flood the country with cash? Do you believe the country will be flooded with cash to help the cash flow pr problems at so many businesses today? Maria, this, this legislation is now approximately $2 trillion. Uh, part of that is $500 billion, uh, which is not a slush fund. I, I've heard people out there refer to this as a slush fund. It's not a slush fund. It's a mechanism that we can use working with the Federal Reserve that will provide another 
$4 trillion of potential liquidity into the market. That's on top yeah. of the Fed's balance sheet. This is a massive liquidity program that the president is determined that we are going to support hardworking Americans, yes. that we are going to support small business, and we are going to make sure we get through this, and we are going to win this war. So, Maria, it's great to be with you. I'm going to have to sign off, but uh, I want everybody to know we need to get this legislation Secretary. passed today. So final word here, Secretary, why are the Democrats pushing back? You spoke with Sh Senator Schumer last night. Why aren't they moving and voting on this and getting this into the economy immediately? What's stopping them then? Maria, I can tell you I'm on my way to the Senate this morning to meet with Mitch McConnell and his team and Senator Schumer. You can ask that question to the Democrats. I, I, what I'm saying is Sen we need this to pass today. We certainly do, Secretary. Thanks very much for your leadership, and we appreciate your time this morning, sir. Thank you, Maria. Bye. Secretary Stephen Mnuchin, we have a lot to discuss this morning. News out of the Federal Reserve sending markets high.